This is DJ Johnny at JDMFM and today I'm continuing my history of Warrington in this, the fifth video in the series all about Latchford. In the early videos of Latchford, I started up there at uh, Bridgefoot, up that area up there. I'm now moving my way down Nutsford Road, which is down here. I'm currently outside St Mary's Street, which is just over there. And I'm going to look today at that estate over there and hoping to work my way all the way through looking at what's in there and the history associated with it all the way up to the Black Bear Bridge which is just up there uh, <laughs> there's an awful lot to cover so let's go and have a look and see what we can find out so Nutsford Road as it is today doesn't look anything like it used to in the 13th century it used to be a dirt track where people would travel towards Cheshire in that direction. But it was no good because the River Mersey, which is right to my left here, used to flood at all the tides and the road was just wet all the time. So in the 17th century, we decided that they needed to do something about it and they built uh, arches or culverts underneath the length of the road to raise it from the water so that when the Mersey tide came in, it wouldn't flood the road and a proper causeway was built and it was called Latchford Causeway. It was built at the same time as Wildersville Causeway on the other side uh, and for the, for the whole length of the road these culverts or arches were built to support the road structure. Now in addition to that as the as time went on houses were built along uh, Nutsford Road along here right the way along the length of it along the, the edge of the River Mersey and on, also on, the, on the other side as well there's huge estates built to support the growing industry of Warrington and also the industry of this area. The road was very very narrow in fact there was only enough room for two trams to get past each other on that side there. Now I'll talk about the trams in a future video when I'll cover other, other trams around Warrington. So during the Victorian days this road was full of houses and industry, black acrid smoke must have been belching out everywhere and it was really not a very nice place to be. Incidentally, Nutsford Road has also had other names. It was called Chapel Street and also St James's Street at the far end up there, right near St James, the original St James's Church. But as you know today, it's called Nutsford Road. So I'm just on St Mary Street and Nutsford Road of course is up there. Um, St Mary Street is a very old street uh, leading all the way through right the way on the length of this, this estate. Uh, didn't used to be called St Mary Street, it used to be called Slackery Lane. Uh, Slackery Lane, what's all that about? Well, a long long time ago before the Manchester Canal was built, uh, this whole area was very marshy and particularly at the end of the road and that meant that there was lots of water which came from the Mersey in the high tides and it was very very what they called slack water hence the name Slackery Lane and that's where the name came from it's only changed later on which we'll chat about in a few minutes So the building behind me is Our Ladies of the Assumption Catholic Church and was built in 1903. Now this church um, has been used for quite a, a long time but sadly isn't used anymore. But the interesting thing about it is when the church was first built uh, it was designed with a spire, a 150 foot spire. But when they built it, which cost £6,000, lots of money in those days, uh, they ran out of money and didn't have enough to pay for the spire and the spire should have gone all the way up there 
150 foot. Blinking heck! But this wasn't the first Catholic church on the road. There was an earlier church just down the road. Let's go and have a look at it. So I'm just next to the uh, church over there, the Our Lady of Assumption over there. And here, and this, these buildings here, uh, where the old school and chapel used to be. This was Our Lady's school and also St Mary's Chapel, which was built in 1872. Let's go have a look at what it used to look like. The school and the chapel were originally built in 1872 when the road was really, really like a mud bath at Slacker Lane. But they changed the name in 1890 to St Mary Street. This old school was still in use until 1970 when they moved to new premises on Wash Lane, which we'll see in a later video. But meanwhile, although the church was quite useful in its early days this, as a chapel, as a small chapel for the congregation of this area, it wasn't long before they needed a new church and that's where they built the new one up there, Our Lady of the Assumption. And the building behind me is the old presbytery where the priests used to stay, which was built in 1898. The church was originally known as St Mary's Church, but because that caused some confusion between this church and St Mary's Church in Buttermarket Street in Warrington, they decided to change this to Our Lady of the Assumption Church, which is stuck today. Now, sadly, in 2010, this church was no longer fit for purpose. The building structure had lots of challenges uh, and it's going to cost a lot of money. And so they decided to build a new church, a brand new church, which we actually saw in my first video, uh, Blessed John Han Henry Newman Church, which is a modern church. Uh, sadly, this is now closed. It's actually a grade two listed building, so it can't go anywhere. And I suspect at some point someone's going to buy it and change it into something, I don't know. But uh, here's hoping for the future for this beautiful, beautiful church. And this is the King's Club, which was originally called St Mary's Villas in the 1880s when it was first built. It was originally built as a residential home, but uh, people recognise it really for being Latchford Conservative Club for many, many years. In 1990, though, it was taken over by the King's Club as a recreational club for the use of the local, local residents around here. I'm back on Nutsford Road here. Uh, behind me is uh, this place called Pear Tree Place. <laughs> now this is the home of Ted Bather, sheet metal worker, and, uh, and they also repaired radiators and lots of other fabricated activities. This was his workshop behind here and here for many, many years until the 1960s when it was closed down and they moved to Owen Street. Just at Grove Street, which is uh, which is over there, just over there, down there, Grove Street, and uh, on Nutsford Road. Now, at this point in the uh, in the road, this is what they called the end of the bottleneck. This was a bottleneck, and the the um, houses were all along this road behind me. Houses on both sides, and of course there was industry and all sorts of other shops and businesses. And over the road, of course, was the huge. Warrington Power Station, which we spoke about in the previous video. So this was the end of the bottleneck and a very, very narrow road it was. 
But in the 1960s, it was all knocked down and opened up to make this huge dual carriageway and the, uh, the beautiful wall alongside the Mersey makes it quite a fitting entrance to Warrington. So I'm at the old co-op dairies on Nutsford Road. Nutsford Road is of course just over there and these buildings behind me is the old co-op dairy. Uh, this is where all the milk floats used to get the milk in the morning and deliver it to everybody's houses. Quite a while ago now, uh, so of course the building isn't used for milk anymore. Uh, but the interesting thing is that this uh, raised platform here, this platform is about three foot high, that is the same height as the old milk floats used to be, so they could offload the crates onto the milk floats every morning. Amazing. At the front of the building is the ornate, beautiful, traditional co-op buildings. Uh, and you can actually see on this particular one here, the, the crane area there, where they will have at one time lifted uh, sacks into the storeroom above. Uh, it could be sugar, it could be coffee, all sorts of different ingredients that they'd, they'd bag up themselves separately uh, for sale in the shop at the front. It was also the butchery department of the corp here as well. Quite a, a fascinating place, it's just sad that these buildings are not used anymore. And another interesting thing about this site, long before it was a co-op dairy, it used to be Latchford Parsonage. Uh, well, actually, the vicarage, the vicarage for St James's Church, the original church, which was built in 1777, and I mentioned in my first video in this series. Well, this is the place where the vicars used to live. This is the vicarage where they lived on Knutsford Road, uh, with a lovely outlook over the, uh, the trees and the river, and there was trees all around. It was a beautiful, beautiful, old building. It lasted for a hundred years before it was demolished in the late 1890s and the, uh, the vicars moved to Wildersfield Causeway near the new St James's Church. But the other fascinating thing is that the, the vicar who lived here for a long, long time was called the Reverend Francis Slater. Now, that is the name of where they got the name Slater Street, which is actually just behind me there. That's Slater Street. And Slater Street is named after the Reverend Francis Slater. Thank you, Francis. Very kind of you. So I'm just at the end of Slater Street. Park Avenue is along there. Ash Grove is there. And Myrtle Grove is just over there. Now in this area, there used to be a huge brick works, a brick and tile works. Uh, it was here for a hundred years from the early 19th century to the early 20th century. And this must have been the place where they built uh, or they made the bricks for all the houses in this huge, huge area, this brand new estate at the time. And this is where the marshlands used to be originally, uh, where they got the name Slackery Lane, uh, later St Mary Street. Uh, but nonetheless, the whole area is built on, um, on clay. There's clay all around here. And there was a huge clay pit at the other end of the road over there, uh, where the brick and tile company 
could get their clay and manufacture the bricks for this huge estate. Amazing! And the interesting thing about Myrtle Grove and Ash Grove over there is that that is where the senior staff of the brick and tile works used to live. That's the houses where they used to live um, in those early, early days. So let's have a quick look at the plan of the brick and tile works. So this is the Black Bear Pub, the old Black Bear Pub, which must have been built around the 1780s, something like that. An ancient, ancient pub and grade two listed. Now, this is actually on the, on, on um, Nutsford Road here, and we're actually at the Black Bear Bridge, which I mentioned in a previous video, the Old Key Canal, where, this, where the, the bridge was named after this particular pub. Now in this pub, it used to be a coaching house. It used to enable uh, people who were travelling to and from London along this road, uh, they could, could stop here overnight and at the backs there were stables uh, for the horses and also uh, a blacksmith around the back there where they could repair any damage or anything like that. Such a fascinating pub and uh, it sadly isn't a pub anymore, it's now an electrical uh, place but uh, it's nice to see that the building is still here and it still says the Black Bear. Fascinating! And I'm just in front of uh, an old building, Bromley Tyres which is actually just up the way from the Black Bear pub or the old pub that used to be. Now this building behind me has also got quite a fascinating history. Let's go and have a chat about it around the back where it's a little quieter. <laughs> it was very noisy on uh, Nutsford Road over there. Uh, so I've come round the back of the building on the old, old Key Canal or the Black Bear Canal we did in my earlier video, you may have seen. Uh, and we're actually at the Black Bear Bridge, which you can see right there. Nutsford Road going over it. And this building here is the back of Bromley's Tyres. Now, uh, this is a really, really fascinating building because this used to belong to Daniel Johnson. Now they used to make baskets and they made baskets since 1869 and lasted for over a hundred years. The baskets came from places like the Twiggery. There's a Twiggery on Kingsway on the way towards Padgate, which is uh, an ideal location for buying or getting willow. And that's the materials they use for making baskets. There was all sorts of areas around here where they could get willow from, but this is the factory where they, all the willow came to and they could make some amazing structures in basket work and it was all used in the days before they had plastics and the like. The baskets were used for a multitude of different uh, purposes but a lot of the baskets from here were used for the tanneries uh, which are of course all around this area and we're going to talk more about tanneries in a later video. <laughs> well that's the end of this fifth video on Latchford. It's been quite a journey. Uh, we've covered round St Mary Street, uh, the old Slackery Lane. We've had a look at Our Lady's uh, Church, uh, Our Lady of the Assumption Church, the Catholic Church there, and the history associated with that. We've gone up along and found out a little bit about the King's Club, and we've had a look at the old brick and tile factory that used to be there, now all demolished. Uh, we've had a look at the old co-op dairy, which used to be there. We used to, used to rattle the crates and deliver all our milk to the doorsteps every morning. Uh, we've had a look at where the old parsonage was on the same site and the name of where Slater Street came from. <laughs> Dear me, can't believe how much we've covered. And now we've quickly reviewed the Black Bear uh, pub, which is now gone, of course. Uh, and we've now looked at the basket works, which is actually just behind me now. 
Jeepers, it's been quite a journey altogether. Thoroughly enjoyable, but uh, there's loads more history associated with this, which I wasn't able to, to cover. Uh, so I hope you'll forgive me for the things I've missed. But nonetheless, I must move on now. The next video is going to be over Black Bear Bridge on the other side, where we're nearly getting to Latchford Village. So watch this space. Meanwhile, this is DJ Johnny at JDMFM, and whatever you're doing, hope you have a fabulous time. I'll see you again very soon.